Alexa, what day is it today? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. What she said, it is Vlogmas Day 13. And we are officially more than halfway through Vlogmas. So something came in the mail for Mochi. Yes, yes he did. I'm taking so much fun, ow! Yeah, he jumped up and hit the lens. You excited? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh he's so excited. So I know I'm about to get a little hairy. Because anytime you play with a corgi, you're gonna get a little hairy, you get a little corgi glitter on you. So I'm gonna change really quick out of my work clothes. And then we're gonna open up Mochi's package. I think I'm turning into an old woman because last night I did something to my knee. And now it hurts. So I'm really hoping that I am in the frame for this because I'm using a different camera and I cannot see where I am. I'm just hoping for the best. Mochi's Bark Box came in the mail today and as you can see, he is super excited. This is probably something he really looks forward to every single month. Um, so Mochi has a coupon code. I'm pretty sure it still works. It's Mochi the Corgi. You can use it to get your first box for free when you get a subscription and then usually it'll turn around and it'll give Mochi a free box at the end of our subscription. Usually the boxes are themed, so this month it looks like it is a Christmas theme. <laughs> it's such a goober. And Mochi does get the allergy friendly box, and one reason I'm telling you this is because sometimes they'll substitute out a themed treat for a allergy friendly treat. So what Mochi gets in his box may not be what every single dog got in his box. And you can also specify what size your dog is, if your dog is a heavy chewer, and you can also do special boxes where they add in an extra treat or an extra toy or whatever it is you want to do. Um, of course, you just pay the extra cost. Why are you licking my pants? We will open the box. So, Mochi is a little excited. <laughs> First thing from the box, whoop, ow, is a toy, and if Mochi will let me look at it, it looks like a tug of, a, ow, looks like a tug of war, it says wonderful lamp, that, oh, okay, so if you stand it up straight, it's supposed to look like a little lamp with a little reef on it, and like a little street, it says Fifth Avenue, and one side says bark, it's a tug rope, but it is a little rope for tugging. And Mochi loves playing this game. I think it's probably one of his favorite games. Sometimes we'll be trying to play fetch and it turns into tug of war. And there's squeakers inside. So first thing out of the box, I think is a success. What do you think? That is his happy growl, believe it or not. The next bit is Mochi's box treats. This is probably what Mochi looks forward to the most, huh? So it's called Seven Snacks a Quacken. Oh, it's made with duck, bacon, and apple. That's funny. Seven Snacks a Quacken. Would you like to try some, mister? Ooh, it smells good. It smells like apples. Okay, eat it. Leave it. Good boy. So I think this treat is definitely a success. That's one thing I love about BarkBox is I don't have to go buy like $15 treats at PetSmart. They just ship them to me. And I get two bags of them and toys all for 20 bucks. So next thing in the box. Okay. So this looks like a chew that has plastic on it, Mochi. You can't eat it yet. This looks like a chew. Stop. So later on, maybe when I'm editing, it's raining or something, I'll probably give them this to keep them entertained. Next thing in the box. Look at that, you've got little carolers. All their little skaters. Bungee bodies, double fluff. You got your stretchy, so it's another tug of war, sort of a toy. Gimme, oh yeah. 
Ow, that was my finger. Ow. Ow. Oh, he got it. Dig into a tubby. Tuck. <laughs> Let's see what else is in the box. I think we got one more thing. Winter warmer mauled vanilla maple. So let's open it up. Take a look what's inside. I can't open it when you're doing that sock. Ready? It smells like little muffins. You're gonna pop. Oh yes. You're gonna sit. You're gonna lay down. Roll. Yes! There you go. He hates rolling. I don't know why. That's delicious. That's totally worth the roll. That was Mochi's Bark Box. So now in just a minute, I'm gonna open up what I got from Amazon. I think I talked about one of the last vlogs. But right now I need to clean up Mochi's hot spot because it looks like he kind of itched at it and now it looks all red. So I'll be back in a minute. So I just had to shave like a chunk of behind Mochi's neck to just kind of expose the area where the hot spot is. Um, it had kind of scabbed over, but then I guess today when I kenneled him, he went ahead and like started itching it. So I gave him some of his allergy medicine and his prednisone and I like, you know, shaved it and then I put some hydrogen peroxide and then once that dried, I went ahead and put a little bit of coconut oil because that's supposed to really help with hot spots. But now it just doesn't look very good. But honestly, it just needs to heal without him itching it because him itching it is what made it worse. I don't understand because he didn't itch it or anything since I've been home. And then yesterday, John was with him all day because John stayed home because he was sick. He said he never itched it yesterday either. So it's like he waits to itch it when we leave. I don't know, but I hate to put the cone on him. But here's the thing, because of the spot that it's at, he might actually be itching it with his back leg, which means putting a cone on him isn't gonna do anything. I don't know. If your dog ever has hot spots, how do you deal with it? Our vet said he'll probably get them on and off for the rest of his life, that it just has to do with his allergies and the type of coat that he has. That the best thing that we can do is get him groomed and to keep him away from chicken and beef, we're doing all that. So just let us know if there's anything that you do that really helps your dog with hot spots. I'd appreciate that. What I ordered from Amazon came in the mail. And it's this cute little shirt, I think. It looks too thin to be a sweater, so that's why I call it a shirt. But look how cute it is. Aw, look at the sleeves. And look at the shirt. And look at the sequins. I love it. So I got a, I got a 2XL. So I was just worried that it was gonna run small. So I'm gonna go try it on and hope that it fits. Cause if not, it's gonna be a Christmas present, I guess. So we'll see. Ah, I like it. Look, it fits. Oh, I hate when you buy something online and then it doesn't fit at all. Sorry if the fan is off. I don't know if I can get away with wearing leggings with this, but I really don't have any jeans or anything. I'm still working on fitting into my gold jeans. But look, I'll probably wear like an undershirt because the shirt feels really thin. What if I wear, and a coworker gave me this, which I think is cute, but I don't know, I don't know too much matching or long. I, uh, Help me, I need help. Like, that's what it looks like. Runway model, you know? Just hanging out. Today our work had like a little luncheon thing, which John works at the same place as me, as like a IT guy. So they had like a luncheon, it was like a creamy champagne chicken thing, green beans, mashed potatoes, and that sort of thing. But I tried to have a smaller portion of the carby stuff than I would have if I wasn't on keto. But I probably went over my carbs today, so tomorrow I need to be extra cautious. And then this evening is going to be probably like a BLT for dinner, just to help really stay under carb -wise. The best that I can. Mochi is really digging his new toy. Mm. I'm watching Brem vlog and then I'm also cooking some bacon and then I really need to do dishes but chores you know. 
I wish I could look as glam as her all the time. But watching her vlogs makes me want to like get my eyelashes done so that way they're always like bam all the time. But that's expensive to keep up with. Mascara is more my budget, you know? Call them all Hello Kitty. Oh, now let's get you some medicine, huh? Up in the Some BLT. Right down there. Oh, beggar. I went ahead and ordered Mochi a new doggy bed and it's gonna go under our bed because we have like quite a bit of space and he likes to go under there anyway so I figured you know I would put a doggy bed under there and then that way he can have kind of like a little cave where you can be nice and comfy. And I might move this somewhere in the living room, I don't know. I saw somebody on Instagram post a picture of their corgi laying under their bed on their own little doggy bed and I was like that is genius so I found a orthopedic doggy bed that was only $16 that's mochi sized and um, I put it on my wish list and it was out of stock and then today I saw that it was in stock again so I went ahead and ordered it so it should be here in a couple of days after we had dinner I kind of um, just did some dishes, which I didn't really want to vlog because I figured that was kind of boring. And then watched some vlogs and then I edited my vlog from yesterday so I could have it posted and right now it is uploading. And now I'm going to take a shower and then head to bed because I have to work tomorrow. But today is officially a week from Christmas vacation. If I can just get through Thursday next week, we'll have an early release day. And then Christmas vacation will start and I'll be out for like two weeks and my birthday will be during the Christmas vacation which is really exciting and that reminds me I need to start coming up with birthday ideas. So I'm about half a pound away from the weight that I was before Harvey so I'm really excited about that. That means that the ketogenic diet is working and I just need to stay consistent and uh, try not to do the if it fits your macros because just because I don't know I'm still doing this but just because it's low carb doesn't mean everything is good it doesn't mean you should squeeze in the most carbs that you possibly can and still be in keto like I need to try and have some self-control <laughs> I said I know I laugh but I really do need to try to have some self-control because it's easy to fall off the wagon and stay off the wagon and that is definitely not what I want to do Okay, you guys, well, I'm going to jump in the shower, and then I'm going to go to bed, and have an awesome day tomorrow. So, we will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever it is, and I will see you in the next vlog, which is tomorrow, because it's Vlogmas. Alright, bye you guys.